first reaction coming here today? Have you ever been to Everton before? No. No. And what do you think of the, the work they've done here? Uh, well, I don't know about what it was like um, before, um, but I can see what it's like now. So uh, one of the remarkable things about this, as far as I'm concerned, is that uh, you tend to think it's far from natural landscape, uh, but of course it's, it's entirely man-made. It's, the, it's the entirely man-invented. This great body of water was first created in the 1930s. And the demands that have been going to have to be put on it as the population grows and as the climate becomes more extreme from many points of view uh, are going to be huge. So it's a, a wonderful development. The uh, excitement and delight you get is that when I was first involved with nature conservation 50 years ago or something, uh, conservation and development were head on. I mean, they were seen to be in opposition. Do you want to develop or do you want to conserve? Uh, it's, it's an alternative. It isn't an alternative. The, both things are happening here. And so that not only is there this a big development, but also there's been a great increase in the natural con nature conservation possibilities and potential. Wonderful. I understand you've just recently returned from the White House to see the President of America. Can you tell us anything about the trip? Not only that I, I, it's rather mysterious really, I mean it's simply that I had a, uh, there's a programme going up that has been on BBC One in, uh, a few months ago uh, and it's being shown in the States and how the invitation came around I don't know but I was just told that, uh, that the President would like to talk to me. Uh, so who am I? <laughs> Not to immediately jump on an airplane, which I did and uh, I had a uh, half an hour con conversation. Was that yeah. issues such as climate change? Yes, we, we talked about, um, yes, I mean in half an hour you can't talk about all that much in detail, but we had a very interesting conversation. Are you aware that there's a big issue going on in Brussels at the moment with regard to changing the Habitats Directive and organisations like the RSPB, I think in fact the Environmental Brotherhood, are all um, trying to put pressure on EU not to change the Habitats Directive? I don't know the details of that. No, okay, thank you. Finally then, I, um, any projects in the pipeline? Uh, well, yes, a number. I'm doing a 3D programme, or 3D series for the BBC of Valley Reef, which I'm uh, doing a programme about a huge dinosaur that's just been being dug up in Patagonia, for which I've just returned. And I'm doing something on bioluminescence, which will keep me busy for the rest of the year. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you.